Hi everybody, here with uh, Meg Streeter and Visit Vermont TV and we're at one of the beautiful properties in Wilmington, Vermont. Meg Streeter is from Meg Streeter Real Estate and you can check her out at MegStreeterRealEstate.com. Meg, tell us a little bit about this beautiful property. Oh, I will, Stephanie, and thanks for joining me here. <laughs> it's a gorgeous day. We are in a house on View Road in the Chimney Hill Vacation Home Community here in Wilmington. This house is an incredible style that is totally suited to the way people want to spend time in their vacation home or year-round for that matter because you've got an open concept here where kitchen, dining, living space are all together. Um, it's very Vermont because very the Vermont. builder used some incorporated some old Vermont beams into the design here in the dining area and over the fireplace so it feels like it's um, a Vermont spot. And there's lots of windows and lots of green. I'm looking out the windows and it's just I'm surrounded by green and I love that so there's lots of birds probably right. that come to visit and, right. and exactly. lots of natural beauty surrounding. About the, and this is located in the Chimney Hill community. Right. So, which is a year round community. It right? is. Yep. Yep. Popular with both vacation home buyers and year round residents. Um, has a trail network for hiking, snowmobiling, cross country skiing. It um, has a clubhouse so you can swim, indoor and outdoor pools, play tennis, game room. I mean, it's a great area in any season, really. And of course, we're close to Lake Whitingham. It's a mile around the corner if you want to boat or swim there. Close to Mount Snow, golf. You know, it's it's really a multi-season area that's been here for quite a while. So there are second homeowners here mm -hmm. and year-round residents. Yes. Yep. Exactly. I keep looking at the stove. Could you tell us a little bit about sure. the stove that's behind? Sure. That is one of the neat features of this particular house. Um, the original owners loved this um, Scandinavian soapstone stove that is multi-purpose. It will heat your house and remain cool to the touch. You just beat it with wood, get enough going, and it'll warm the house completely. And it also has a baking oven at the top. That, so, so you can make pizza. You can make <laughs> homemade soapstone oven pizza in exactly. your new house. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah. Meg is the leading authority on the real estate business in this area. And so, Meg, could you please share a couple of tips for people who might be something that they should do first before thinking of buying a Vermont or the first steps that they should take before buying any property, really? Sure. I think the first thing people want to do um, when they're starting the, the mental part of the process is figure out what's an affordable price range for them. Um, and the great thing about our area is we have nice properties in every part of the price range. This house, for instance, is kind of in the mid-range at the $247,500 level. But f as an example, um, you could spend m much less in our area and you can spend much more. It just depends on what works for you. And I think that's the first key for people looking is to figure out what's a comfortable uh, price point for them and then start your search by looking at houses that are have been well maintained by the current owner and that the major features things like your roof foundation um, utilities like water and, and sewer systems are in good shape and um, for that uh, you need to find a reliable realtor that will help you look at properties with um, a critical eye but the most important thing is when you walk in at someone's home does it feel like it could be your home right. I think that's the key you have to go on an emotional basis as well as logical yeah because if you if you don't love it you know right. do you want to be in it for 30 years so exactly. make sure that you love your space and that it has a really good homey feeling to you so one other thing in this community here, you've mentioned all the clubhouse and the fun things to mm -hmm. do, and it's close to the mountain for right. skiing. Is there snowmobile trails as well? Right. Yeah. So there's lots of fun recreational things to do here. 
And you get the opportunity to talk with a lot of people who purchase properties in Vermont. What's the most common reason that people love to visit Vermont? I think it's uh, the connection with nature, natural beauty, getting away from a daily routine in a, either a more urbanized area um, and just enjoying the out of doors. Even if you don't participate in a lot of uh, sports, just the ability to go uh, take a walk and see, um, see what you're looking at from this house, trees, birds, nature. And I think as people's lives get more and more complicated and people spend more time working, our area is a great place for people to just unwind and do what they want. And be. They can yeah. just be themselves. It's exactly. Like, it's a very welcoming, um, very welcoming area. So I'm Stephanie Kathan. I've been here with Meg Streeter. If you like the looks of this property or would like to know more about the properties that Meg has available in this area of Wilmington, Vermont and the Deerfield Valley, just go to MegStreeter.com and you have been watching Visit Vermont TV.